Well, hey guys, Vape King's back today. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to really call it a review, because to be honest with you, um, I don't know really, I just want to kind of talk about this. I don't think I'm really going to be reviewing it. I guess I kind of am. I've been using it for about three weeks now. Um, but anyways, it's a Cloud Pour. I hope I'm saying that right. Cloud Pour DNA 30. Okay. Right now, I do have it in stealth mode. So I'm going to take it out of stealth mode. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Or put it into stealth mode. What you're going to do is lock it. Click it five times. Okay, so now you can see it's locked. You're going to hold the down button. And the up button. Hold it. Okay, and then it's going to say stealth mode. Let's go into normal mode. Okay, now it's in normal mode. And right now I do have this pumping 30 watts. 30 watts uh, on a 28 gauge twisted dual wire uh, coil. Six wraps. I don't know about the drill bit size. I just used one of my small yellow screwdrivers and did it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a vape for you guys. Show you how it vapes. This is on 30 watts. Um, the wick in here, I do only. I have only been running this atomizer on single, uh, single wick mode or whatever you want to call it. I only have one of the air holes drilled out. Um, I don't remember the size, so I'm sorry, but it's pretty big. I like a lot of air flow when, I, air flow when I'm dripping. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and vape it. This coil is at 0.7 ohms and it's firing at 4.7 volts. So I'm a pretty good vapor. Okay, so let's start off right away. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of this device. Okay. Now, one of the pros is it's pretty cheap for the DNA 30. To be honest, I can't tell you if it's an Evolve chip or what kind of chip it has. I think it's just a cloud pour chip. I don't know for sure, but I know it runs 30 watts, and that's all I need. I don't need a $200 device. To me, that's just crazy to spend $200 on a device I can pay $70 for off eBay. So that's what I did. Um, and even the devices with the Evolve chip, I think the cheapest one I found was like $150. And I didn't even want to pay that much for this device because that's not something I'm going to vape a lot. I like this. I got this ELVT, and I vape this mostly with my Aspire Nautilus Mini on it. The BBC Wix. So let's just talk about this. Um, okay, so you can go from... All the way from like 7 watts to 30 watts. I have never ran this um, below 12 watts. And the reason for that is, is because it has like a cutoff. And I truthfully really hate this. Um, but if you put it down too much and it can't support your wick, what will happen is your ohms will blink. And it's what that means is it's not heating up the coil enough. And I believe this build, I, the lowest I can run is like 20, not even 21, it's still blinking. Let me see here. 24. 24, it's firing fine. Let's just bring it back up to 30 watts. That's like where I like vaping it. Okay, so now it's back on 30 watts. I'll take another vape. So this thing, when you give it power, you're quite bam is lit you don't got to take no primer puffs you know like i know it's in a lot of videos guys that run atomizers do that that run dripping atomizers do that a lot on their batteries and i hate that i don't like that that's why i love this device i mean with my nemesis and this coil build i didn't have to do that but i don't know i just find that nice okay so the pros of this device it does go up to 30 watts that's nice another pro is the build the build of this device is amazing. I haven't dropped it personally, but I feel like if I did drop it, it wouldn't break. Um, and another thing is, I like how my Patriot sits flush. My Patriot clone from Fast Tech. Um, it sits really flush with this. Um, I like how you can charge it through the device. Also, let me grab my, let me grab my charger. So, you look down there and it is red that means it's charging and now that leads me into my next pro it does have an indicator light on it okay and now I know some people have been reviewing this and they say these don't but this one does this cloud DNA 30 the newest version does have an indication light on it 
and granted, yeah, it is a little hard to see it, but it is there. And the way, good way to see that is if it's night, you probably charge your devices at night more than likely. Um, and when I set this up on my shelf and I have it charging and I turn this light off here, and this light goes off, I can see the light fine going up through it. And then in the morning when I wake up, just if I want to check it, I know it's charged, but if I want to check it, I just look down there and you can see the light. Um, it's not hard to do. It's not really a bother. That's kind of nice. I mean, yeah, it would be nice if it was here, you know, they had a little lead here that let you know it was charging. But to be honest, this, this in this mode where the screen comes on, that annoys me. So I'm going to put it back into stealth mode. There, back into stealth mode. Okay, there, now my screen could come on, nice. Um, there's another pro. The screen on this thing is really bright. That's nice for if you vape this outside in the daylight or if your house is really lit up. Um, that's nice with that light because I know like some devices people really complain about that. That's good about this device. Okay. Just an amazing vape. Okay, so another thing about this device is you can vape just about anything you want off it. That's another pro. I vape my Aspire Nautilus on this on 12, uh, 12 watts. If this goes dead, I do have a vision spinner battery, but I don't like using it. It also looks good with the Nimbus. Every atomizer I put on here, it looks good with. Um, now let's talk about some of the cons. Okay, now, <clears throat> I don't remember if it was Grim Green or if it was Rip Trippers video I was watching on the HANA mods, but they were talking about how technology or our batteries aren't really caught up with our devices yet. So this running this on 30 watts, I got a Sony VCT4 in here. I believe it's a 2100 or 2300 milliamp hour. Um, you're only gonna get about three to four hours of vaping, depending on how much you're vaping it. On like this device, where I can vape it all day and night, and then charge it when I go to bed, because it's only running on 12 watts, which is nice. Um, with my in stealth mode, I notice I probably get about five or six hours. Of vaping off with the same atomizer if I don't keep changing it back and forth and stuff, which is nice. Um, overall, I really have to say I'm pretty happy with this device. I like the button, nice and clicky. I like all the buttons are really nice and clicky. That's that's really nice too. Um, another con of this device is the battery. Is how you put the battery in, which kind of you gotta unscrew it and. I don't like screws because they strip easy, depending on, you know, who you are. Maybe some people, they don't. But for me, they always seem to strip. I don't know if that's because of my screwdrivers or what, but... So, I just put a battery in here and I leave it. So I'm not going to switch out the battery constantly. Maybe, yeah, once every two weeks I'll take it out and manually charge it on my IntelliCharger just to make sure it's still all good. But that's about it. I don't like taking the battery out of this. It's a pain. I find it hard. It's annoying. I wish it was just kind of magnetized. I mean, yeah. This other guy I watched his video, uh, I don't remember, but he's from down south, and people were talking a lot of shit on his things because he rips the handle mods apart. And you know what? That's kind of his own thing, you know? If that's his handle mod and that's what he's getting, yeah, then granted, maybe he should send it back and complain and get his money back, or he should send it back and let him fix it if there's problems wrong with it. But, I mean, I don't see that's right for people to rip them apart on his videos. That's just wrong for people to do. I think that's a real douchebaggy thing. So this mod altogether cost me 